So that's all for subnet. Now let's introduce a little bit about the, a new protocol, which is ICMP. ICMP means Internet Control Message Protocol. That is an auxiliary protocol for IP protocol. So for example, when we transmit the package using IP protocol, there are some error or there are some special event or we need to control the network. Then how to do that? Actually, we need to use this ICMP protocol. The ICMP protocol enables the user or the router to transmit error message or control message using this ICMP protocol. And you need to know that the ICMP actually uh, message is included in the IP packet. So this is a protocol between layer three and layer four. Okay, so we need to add this ICMP message into IP packet. So the packet will be like this. The ICMP message is divided into these three domains uh, and the message content. So we first have the type and code. The type tells what kind of message. For example, is it an error reporting or it is a control information? And together with code, we can know what is the description, what is the function of this ICMP message. So for example, 00, zero means there is an echo reply, and 80 means this is an echo request packet. And if it is three, it means there are some error. So these are different errors. And for most of these message, the message content is empty, but for some kind of message, they will need some information be included in the message content. For example, if it is a echo request and echo reply, then they need to put some identification in the message content in the request. And then the reply should have the same identity, the same sequence in the message content so that we know that this reply actually is to reply that the corresponding request introduce several applications of ICMP. One application is ICMP redirection. So as shown in this figure, the host A has two gateway, but this router is the default gateway with the IP address like this. Then if the host A want to transmit a packet to server A, and the packet should first be sent to the default gateway to this router B. But actually the router B find that, okay, I am not the good forwarder. The best forwarder should be the router A. So in that case, router B can send back an ICMP redirect message. So in this redirect message, he tells host A that you should forward your packet to the router A so that host A can forward packet to router A, and then router A can forward eventually to the server A. So that is the um, application of ICMP redirection. It ha can help a host to find a better gateway to find the final destination. Another very useful application of ICMP is to ping the connectivity of the network. There is a very useful command, which is ping. In a lot of operating systems, they can provide this command. So you can use ping to test whether another host or another router is reachable in the network. And when you use ping, actually the router or the node itself are sending echo requests and this echo request can be transmitted to the destination and then the destination will reply with an echo reply and then until this echo reply arrive back to the to the sender then the sender can know that okay first this ip can be reachable second it can calculate the round trip time. The round trip time is defined as the time from the source sent the packet until they arrive the destination, until the feedback are transmitted back to the source. 
So this is the round trip. The time of the round trip means round trip time. Okay. So this router, this PC can calculate um, the round trip time. So here you can see that if we pin this IP, then you can know that first I can reply from this IP and um, the number of bytes are 56, sequence number are 1. So in every echo request, there will be a sequence number in the request. And the TTL is 254. That is because the uh, original default TTL is 256. And then with one hop minus one, two hop minus two, so the TTL time to live becomes 254. And this time is the round trip time, that is 17 microseconds. So that we can know that the destination is reachable and we know the round trip time and number of hops. Another useful application of ICMP is to do the trace route. If you are not only want to know whether host or a device is connected, the connectivity of it, reachability of it, but also you want to know what's in between, what are the intermittent routers, then you can use this trace route. Actually, if you use trace route, the sender will send out the message with different TTL. So they will transmit a packet with TTL equals to one. In that case, the package becomes the first hop router, the TTL will become zero, right? And if the TTL comes zero, then the router will think that, okay, there is an error and I, I need to send an error report a message. And in this error report message will back to the sender so that the sender can know that, yeah, my first hub router is this one. So that is this one. And the round trip time from me to the first router actually is 80, 80 microseconds. And actually they will transmit three packets with TTL equals to one. So you, they will have three round trip time for each uh, for those three packets. And then they will send also two, three packets with TTL equals to two. In that case, that packet becomes error here, right, in the second half. And then the sender can know the round trip time from here to here. Then they know that the second hub router or host IP address is like this. And the round trip time will be like this, okay. So by sending packets with different TTL value, the router can know every hub's router's IP address.